In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a CAD arc as the basis for laterals into a block. In other words, I will curve laterals inside my block to be designed as an irrigation block. Before I do that, I have to set up my database to work with drip lines. It only works with drip lines. So this design can only be done with drip and micro um, option. So this design can only be done with the drip and micro option. So to start off, go to Pipes, Database, Drip Lines. Select your emitter series and model that you want to use. Combine that with your pipe and your starting diameter. This diameter can be sized later. This is just the start of diameter. Let's add. You have to make your dripper line name unique, so type in a new name. I would typically um, use the manufacturer description. This will also be used on my report later. And then I will put in my flow into identifiers. And I will also put in my meter spacing because that could be the same emitter spacing for different sizes and different flows. So you want to make it absolutely unique. Put in your emitter spacing. The program will automatically use the spacing at a certain point during our design. You press close, close again, and now we need to generate our block. Now I have already drawn some CAD in the drawing. You'll see a arc. This is a circle with a hundred meter radius. Just to explain it. And this is typically a outside border of a pivot. I then do two blocks just outside that, which is essentially just two arcs connected with two straight lines. And I'll use that as my basis um, as a CAD backdrop for my irrigation. Now we will create our block on that CAD. I'm going to Blocks Add New. And I will use my track line snap mode. Before I hold my cursor, I will hold it on the arc. It tracks the arc there, and then I track the arc on that side, and then I right click. Now I'm ready to add my pipes, so I go to pipes, scroll down on my add cut, pipe and node list, choose CAD circle, indicate the circle that I want to use as my basis for my parallel line, enter the row spacing for the laterals. You put in a comma and an additional value that could be used as your tram line, so it could be a 2.5 meter line and then immediately after that 0 0.5 and then it will be 2.5 meters again. I'm just going to say 2.5 meters and OK. And then it allows me to select the drip micro line that I created in the earlier step. I have to choose my nozzle according to the flow that I want at each emitter. My design pressure for my block and then I look at my emitter spacing. You'll see if I choose a different pipe with a 0.75 that emitter spacing is updated. So this just helps me to even out possible finger errors because the drip line was created with a, with a specific emitter spacing that is then used in this case. There you have it. My design is complete. I now need to add my subplane and my valve and I can continue designing this block. Thank you for watching.